My 5 year getting paid for doing nothing is over, I'm heartbroken. I got a night shift job doing data entry back in 2015. I quit and needed something fast at night while I look for something better during the day. It was a data entry position, meaning I get an email containing the details of an order and proceeding to input the information into our system. Right after my training I knew this is something auto hotkey can do. I don't know to code that well. So I went to a freelancer website to hire a guy to develop the code, it cost me a 2 month salary, I just had to input how many orders I want to process per hour. Since day 1 I was working from home because the company did not want to pay for transport or cleaning during the graveyard shift. For the first 2 years, I would check if there was something the code cannot do, usually took me less than 5 minutes, and then I would let the computer running and watch movies, go to bed, sometimes I'd even go out. Then I added those functions to the code as well. I was doing such a remarkable job I was offered promotions a few times, new positions during the daytime that I'd reject stating I'm a very introverted person that enjoys this type of position. Eventually, I got another job, better paid, but there was no reason for me to quit where I was working. For my data entry job, I could spend months without having anybody reach out to me. Sometimes some co-workers will try to match my order entry quota, which would make me open the code, and change an 8 to 9 to increase my production and keep myself on top. I change the numbers regularly just in case but nobody even noticed. I even got 2 salary raises at some point for never missing a day, and being the top producer in my 3 people department, to which I corresponded by changing the 9 and switching it to an 11 or 10 on some days. My end. It took them 4 years to develop new software that will replace my data entry position. Since clients were granted access to our new system, a few weeks ago I got my severance check, I was told I could keep the laptop and office equipment and that I'm welcome to apply for any position I want. I never talked about that with anybody I roll, not even my family, even my wife wasn't sure what my job was about with that other company. Now that it is over, there you go, my darkest work secret. I did try to schedule a demonstration of my code, I think that was back in 2017. The regional manager told me they are very busy dealing with the important stuff, just to keep doing the good work I was doing, which I freaking did until the day I was let go. For the last few weeks I've been wondering if I would have managed to keep this going for decades. I'd have been such a cool thing to do but well. Slow clap. You could have retired and it would never matter to the company they paid for the results with no complaints. For the last few weeks I've been wondering if I would have managed to keep this going for decades. I'd have been such a cool thing to do but well. Automate something for a company. Get paid once. Automate your own job without anyone knowing and get paid for 5 years of doing nothing. Hats off to you, even if the ride is over. I always felt some hidden guilt. But I knew in this subreddit I'd find support. Though I did try at some point telling them but didn't really try very hard. Wonderful. Truly wonderful. Fully automating your work and leeching off the corporate teat for 5 years. You've done us all proud. You absolute legend. I'm sorry the dream is over. Thanks. Seriously never told that story I roll because I felt like if I were stealing. It was a weird feeling and got numb somewhere between years 3 to 5. I used to have a data entry job where the expectations were super low. I'm talking people would do 5-10 pieces of work per hour but I could complete a piece in 1 minute. Nobody cared. In fact, if you did a shitload of work they would think you were rushing it and making mistakes. So what I ended up doing is smashing out an entire week of work on Monday, and then moving them to the completed folder in chunks at the end of each work day. Tuesday Saturday I'd just chill out. Yes. It was a Monday Saturday job, Saturday was overtime pay, because we were so behind on work, yet they didn't want us working hard. This went on for 6 years and I even used the time to study online and completed 2 degrees. Work smart, not hard. This is the creed of the lazy but efficient crowd. We do no more than is absolutely necessary to get the work done in a satisfactory and timely manner. We don't get paid to go above board. We get paid for a result. It's our business how it happens. This is the way brother. Well you could have put in reference for your wife and would have got her the same job as well. Doubled the income. In hindsight now of course. Anyways great story and experience. 
Some people in some companies are really stupid. Two months of coding took four years. I imagine how much money software consultant company would have made for that. No. Two months salary for a data entry role paid for the code. Probably took far far less dev time to build the solution. I had this same opportunity but I. Being a naive fool. Demos that crap and taught everyone in my department how to use it a week after I developed it. I lost that job after the code process so many orders I couldn't actually manage them all and a few key ones bombed out and shut the client down. Never got any raises or promotions for demoing it. Just got more work. And when it blew up they happily kept the code and showed me the door. Never. Freaking. Tell. Them. Don't show them your code. I learned that the hard way. 8 hour job automated down to 2. And most of that was scraping data off their antiquated mainframe. I showed the boss and just got 4x work dumped on me. Fully automated luxury communism. Came to say a few things. Not only do I think you did nothing wrong. You actually did several things I think were right. I think you should be immensely proud of this. 1. You did exactly what they wanted you to for years, and never took a day off. They got exactly what they were paying for. 2. You found an extremely efficient way of doing your job, which was actually less prone to error. 3. By operating the way you did, you helped your colleagues to maintain their own jobs if the company had bought your automation code they would have been fired. 4. When the company realized that a code could do the job. They made you and your colleagues redundant. They didn't care to know why you were the best performer. 5. The model for what you did is actually a very common business practice. You acted as a broker who delivered a set amount of work for the company and took a profit because you continued to fulfill that requirement. It's exactly what employment agencies, headhunters etc do. They take money every month for basically no work. 6. I wouldn't be surprised if they were now paying for a subscription to the software they have replaced you all with. Who's evil now? Well done. I've done something similar in a more limited manner. I write scripts that I can use to perform many tasks I am supposed to do manually so that my actual job stays manageable. Auto hotkey is awesome. I saw a video of a guy on YouTube. I didn't know how to code it myself. But if you know it is possible that's pretty much all I needed to know. If you have the skill maybe there is a business there somehow. Progress is made by lazy men looking for a better way. No reason to feel guilty. You did nothing wrong. The work was still getting done. You just did it better than they could conceive of. This is me now but not fully automated because I'm afraid someone may catch on. Started working for this place in 2016. It started off as a 5 person department, then 2 pre-covered, then down to me. I work for an hour a day preloading the data I need then let the computer do the 7 hours worth of work. I too have another gig as well during those 7 hours of work where I don't do as much but binge watch Netflix. But you sir, are a freaking legend. Dude with this you could take on 2 jobs like this and automate them easily. Get paid double for doing nothing. Dream come true lol. I made a script at my previous job that got around a really slow document opening process that probably saved about 5 minutes per job all day every day. After a while I gave it to the bosses thinking that it'd get me some recognition or a bonus. They rolled it out across the whole national business and gave me a thanks on a piece of A4 paper in a frame. Keep your tricks for yourself. Don't help out your company. Should have sold it to them. This is what I don't understand about management. Like this is exactly how you disincentivize innovation. They could pay you a fraction of what this saved them and you'd be very happy. Don't be upset that it's over. Be happy that it happened. You exploited their system for all your gain. You made easy money off them while working another job. That's a huge win in my books. Either way technology was going to catch up and you would have been made out of the job eventually. Either way 4 years is pretty dang good considering nobody ever caught on. Can't argue with that. For perspective Robert Kirkman the fellow who created The Walking Dead. His first serious job was working for a lighting supply company. He found out when he started that his job can be done in 15 minutes and the previous person that was working for them for 20 years knew this but didn't tell anybody. So he kept his mouth shut and just wrote his comics while he was at work. So while he was working he was quietly releasing comics independently from his office at work. His bosses were so impressed by his work ethic that they gave him a raise twice. 
then when he made enough money to support himself and the walking dead took off he quit. So honestly you have absolutely nothing to feel ashamed about you just work smarter than anybody else. He took on a role of a classic entrepreneur, initial investment, risking that the software wouldn't do the job well enough to warrant the upfront cost. Then he got his salary and returned work done, not necessarily by him instead but by an employee, software, or subcontracting if you want. People will really shame everyday people for taking initiative while idolizing rich people doing the same. Almost as if it's hardwired in them to keep their head down and stick to their role in the world like super glue. Kudos man. Another hero wearing jeans. It's a shame it's over. Where my partner works. There was this guy who never went to work for 5 years. It's a huge university with thousands of staff and he slipped through the system. Amazing. You deserve a best something award for doing something remarkable. This should be a thing. There should be an award ceremony for the people who do this the best. This year I decided you're the winner. Congrats. Thanks. But it ended. I wonder if there is someone around there still going getting paid for doing nothing. If it helps. I have made a career out of being lazy. My specialty is software testing automation. My job is to literally teach a computer how to test code. I started as a manual tester. I have replaced people I worked with for years with scripts. I know one day the automation will come for me. My only goal is to prolong that for as long as possible while making as much money as possible. It's scary to see what a few lines of code can make. Someone made the comment about my co-workers I don't think much about them. But they were working really hard trying to match a guy watching Breaking Bad on Netflix. Not on the same level. But when I started a role I was tasked with doing database health checks for clients. Some clients had two databases. Some had 50 plus. The method was to run some scripts manually. Copy and paste the output into Excel Word. Put some words around it and highlight any issues. The clients were charged 4 hours per database. And it would take about that long per database. First thing I did was to schedule the scripts instead of running them manually. Then I put the output to CSV4 import into Excel. Then I got a colleague to automate the import into Word. Eventually each health check was taking about 5 minutes. But I didn't tell my boss. I'd put the hours down in my timesheet and spend it dicking around on the web. Currently doing this for a Fortune 500 company. And so are my colleagues. We're all kinda in on it. We basically do 8 hours worth of work in 2 hours. But we spread it out kinda evenly so we don't get caught. If we were to automate or cheat for 8 hours. We'd have done 4 days worth of work in a day. Sometimes towards end of shift I have like 40% of my workload still due and only 30 minutes left. I go hard for 30 minutes and poof. I worked a solid day and definitely didn't Netflix or game until the last 30 minutes of the shift. Honestly, I don't see a problem here. They asked you to do a job. You found a way to do the job with little work for yourself but still with everything your boss needed and wanted. They didn't care about you. If they had seen the code you would have been insta fired. So don't feel guilty. Feel happy for once you were the one playing the system. I did something similar but not quite the same. Someone at work asked me to spend several days changing the size of spreadsheets. They told me they had tried to make macros but it wasn't possible. I devoted 5 hours to learning how to make them. The whole morning. I blasted through every day's worth of work in the afternoon. Sat around the office doing nothing the rest of the week lol. I read this as my 5 year old was getting paid for doing nothing I was waiting for the part where you got your kid to do the laptop stuff lol. Feels a little like my job. I'm a youth worker and I basically get to sit around at a youth house and play games on my laptop and get free food, very minimal effort especially in the weekends I get to basically do nothing. The most effort I have to put in is a grocery shop once a week and I get to eat for free when I'm on shift. I'm pretty lucky. Not very kind supportive of the other poor folks doing this job. Where is the solidarity in tweaking the SW to always be the top performer? Making them work harder? For this reason you only score 8 stroke 10 from me. Too many tattletales in this world to risk a tbh. I openly automated part of my communications job. Had to be open cause I had to get budget approval for software. Saved organization significant amount of money and was made redundant shortly after so more power to you. 
OEF. A guy here in the Netherlands got caught doing something very similar. He got caught because he was always the best and collegiers started looking into his way of working. To see if they could improve themselves. It went to court and he had to pay back his full 3 year salary and a fine. The ruling was that the company isn't paying for results but for him. In person. To do the job. Does that mean I will not try this? No. I would just never try to stand out and be smart about not getting caught. Super happy it all worked out for you. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.